everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing extremely well so now i am here with another topic that explain the construction working and application of magnetron and one thing i want to say that that it is a self made notes of mine not out by any teacher and not copied from any notes i got this answer from online resources and i collected it I wanted to share it with you because it is a tough time for all of you. You are not able to attend classes, so it would be useful for you. I hope that it would help you to understand and make notes in a proper way. So now I'm going to discuss it. At first, we should know definition wise that what is magnetron. So definition: a magnetron is a device that generates high power electromagnetic wave. what it generate it generate high power electromagnetic wave it is basically considered as a self excited microwave oscillator and it is also known as what crossed field device it is because the electric and magnetic field remember it there is two field electric and magnetic field produced inside the tube are mutually perpendicular to each other thus the two crosses each other So now I am going to discuss it from this figure. It is a construction of magnetron. It is a round shaped circle, like circle, and there is a cavity. And this one, this line, as you can see that this line, it is called as cathode. Then the another part of it would be uh, called as anode. So the th this line, this arrow is coming from here. so it is positive and the arrow which is showing here it is called as negative and it is cavity and the space between there is just space between two positive it is also positive because just because it is coming from here and there is arrow there is arrow it is showing negative so the space between two positive it is called as interaction space so, and it is our electric field now in this figure is called as structure of magnetron now a cylindrical magnetron has a cylindrical cathode of a certain length and radius present at the center around which a cylindrical anode is present so in this figure it is defining at as that a cylindrical magnetron has a cylindrical cathode of a certain having certain length and radius present where there is a center around which a cylindrical anode is present the cavities are present at the circumference of anode at equal spacing i told you that it is present at the equal spacing now also the area exiting between anode and cathode of the tube is known as interaction space anode and cathode there is two there is spaces between it and it is called as interaction space it is to be noted here that there exist a phase difference of what 180 degree between adjacent cap cavities therefore cavities will transfer their excitation from one cavity to another with a phase shift of 180 degree so from this figure it is denoting uh, that there is a phase shift of uh, 180 degree between anode and cathode so now thus we can say that if one plate is positive then automatically its adjacent plate will be negative and this is clearly shown in figure 1 in this figure as i said that if one plate is positive then second one would all also always it would be negative positive negative positive negative so it is defining it and as we have already discussed that here the electric and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other and the magnetic field is generated by using a per permanent magnet now coming on working of magnetron what is the working of magnetron the excitation of the cathode of the magnetron is provided by a dc supply how can uh, it uh, provided the cathode of the magnetron is provided by from where dc supply which causes the emergence of electrons from it here in this section we will discuss the working of magnetron 
under two categories there is a working which is defining under two categories first one which is defining that is without applying the rf input to the anode and the second one with the application of rf input now coming on first case when rf input is not present it is absent case one when the magnetic field is zero we are considering that there is magnetic field which is zero or we can say that it is absent so in this condition in this condition when the magnetic field is absent then the electron emerging from the cathode radially moves toward the anode so in this condition when we are taking that we have a magnetic field and it is absent uh, or we can say that it is zero then in in this condition uh, our um, electron emerging from cathode radially moves towards the anode so we can say that it is a movement of electron and in and it is going a straight uh, way so it is a figure of it when we are not applying magnetic field or we have a zero magnetic field so absence of magnetic field it is a figure of it now this is so because the moving electron does not experience the effect of magnetic field and moves in a straight path in this condition we can say that the the electron which is not experience any effect of magnetic field because here magnetic field is zero we are not applying any magnetic field so it would move in a straight path now coming on second part now coming on case 2 when a small magnetic field is present so in this case a small magnetic field exists inside the magnetron then the electron emerging from the cathode will slightly deviate from its straight path and this will cause a curly curly motion of the electron from cathode to anode as on figure so from this figure i am going to explain it so when we are applying a small magnetic field here so we can see that as i am going to show you the differences between it when we are not applying magnetic field there is zero magnetic field then the uh, then it is showing straight path and small magnetic field we applied it is showing slightly deviated from the straight path it is showing movement of electron so it is showing that in presence of small magnetic field it is showing slightly deviation and this motion of electron is the result of the action of electron as well as magnetic force over it but it is showing that the deviation of it is showing that and then the action of electric as well as magnetic field force over it now coming on third case in presence of large magnetic field when we are applying large magnetic field then then its condition you can see that without applying magnetic field it is going straight slightly uh, applied magnetic field it is slightly deviated from straight path and when we are applying large magnetic field it is going from here to there and it is uh, con containing large time to uh, reach anywhere so it is showing moment of electron and this causes the anode currents to be zero here the anode current will be zero now our second case in this case when the rf field is present so case one it will define it that in this case an active rf input is provided to the anode of the magnetron then oscillation are set up in the interaction space of the magnetron so when the electron is emitted from the cathode when the electron which is emitted from where cathode to anode then it transfer its energy in order to oscillate such electrons are called as favored electron why we are calling it favored electrons just because here the electron which is emitted from cathode and going to anode then it transfers its energy in order to oscillate so we are calling it favored electrons in this condition the electrons will have a low velocity having elect electrons which containing low, low velocity and thus will take a considerably high amount of time to reach from cathode to anode just because having it having low velocity so it is a figure of it which is representing when moving electron releases energy to oscillate just because our electron which is emitted from here it is releasing its energy to oxi uh, oscillate so we are it is taking more time to reach here and also having a low velocity now coming on 
केस टू अनदर कंडीशन अराइज इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ आर एफ इनपुट इन दिस केस द इमिटेड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्रॉम द कैथोड वाइल ट्रेवलिंग टेक्स एनर्जी फ्रॉम द ऑक्सीलेशन देयर बाय रिजल्टेंटली इंक्रीजिंग इट्स वेलोसिटी इन दिस कंडीशन इलेक्ट्रॉन विच इज इमिटेड फ्रॉम कैथोड इट इज ट्रेवल वाइल इट इज ट्रेवलिंग इट टेक्स एनर्जी फ्रॉम वेयर ऑक्सीलेशन देयर बाय रिजल्टेंटली इंक्रीजेज इट्स वेलोसिटी so despite reaching the anode the electrons will bounce back so and uh, its result would be that it is coming uh, in its initial state that is bounce back to the cathode and this electron are known as unfavored electrons that's because it is not favoring the propagation of unfavored electron is shown in figure below as you can say that it is coming from here and going back to its initial place so we can say that that it bounces back to the cathode so when moving electrons energy from the oxidation so here are some applications of magnetron a major application of magnetron is present in a pulsed radar system in order to produce a high power microwave signal second one is magnetrons are also used in heating appliances jo bhi uh, we have heating appliances like microwave oven so we are uh, we uh, use magnetron uh, and it produce fixed frequency oscillation so we used in a microwave oven magnetron to produce fixed frequency oscillation and third one is tunable magnetrons find their applications in swip oscillator so i think i told you everything which i wrote here and i defined everything which is important for you so make notes and study hard thank you for watching my video